Hey guys, this is a quick introduction to the Sparrow Racing Quad. This is the R4 version or revision 4 of this quadcopter frame and there are some unique features about this that I wanted to tell you about today. Uh, first thing is the angled camera holder. Uh, we have modified this hanger here so we've actually incorporated uh, anti-vibration mounts in here uh, that affect both the camera and whatever you decide to mount on top of this. Also we've got the FPV camera that's a angle adjustable here so you can adjust the angle uh, to suit your flying needs. Uh, other nice features about this frame are the arms are removable and we've also worked on trying to design these to be the weaker link in this structure so that if you do have an insanely hard crash you break the arm before you break anything else and uh, We've gone ahead and used 45 degree carbon and the idea here is that the carbon fiber on this frame is stronger and different than other frames out there on the market. Uh, I haven't seen very many quadcopter frames use 45 degree carbon simply because I think it's more expensive and therefore a lot of manufacturers kind of stay away from it or maybe there's just not much knowledge about it and that's why the decision on other frames is to go with 90 degree carbon uh, when the clear choice for when you're cutting odd shapes out of carbon fiber is to go with 45 degree because it tends to be stronger when you have strange shapes. So uh, here's an example of a Lumineer QAV250 and if you look at the carbon on this you can see that it's 90 degrees or just a straight 90 degree weave and what happens with weaves like this is when this breaks it tends to break in straight lines and so if you have just 90 degree cuts that's okay but when you start getting these angles in here uh, then you can have issues with this type of carbon and so a lot of times with these QAV250s we see them break through here through this weak point and the whole back end kind of cracks off and uh, I'm not saying that anything's invincible but uh, we've worked on the Sparrow to try to make it very crash worthy and you can see we've also made the uh, main top plate much stronger uh, previous versions of this frame tended to twist and then break back here so that's why we've, sh we've strengthened these shoulders up quite a bit uh, other unique features about this frame are center mounted battery so you can put the battery in the middle of this frame and then you can adjust it back and forth and um, it really helps with the CG uh, another nice feature is it has a frame mounted XT60 connector that holds the battery cable firmly in place and keeps it out of your props. Um, <clears throat> this frame has a power distribution board so this is good for uh, ESCs up to about 25 amps. Uh, they fit in here nicely. If you're running 30 amps on this bad boy I'd say you know maybe think about putting your your ESCs out on the arms. You can fit some 30 amps in here, but it, it's a tight fit. Uh, it comes with standard landing gear. You can upgrade it with what we call the Sparrow Claws. And uh, once you do that, you'll never have to buy another pair of landing gear again. Uh, Sparrow Claws are here. Uh, these are new LEDs on this frame. Uh, we're trying to eliminate holes uh, to hold things on. Uh, especially th things that are non-structural like LEDs and so what we've done is we've included these color selectable LEDs so you can pick any color that you want pretty much that an RGB LED can output and uh, they include double-sided 3M sticky tape so uh, you basically just stick them onto the frame you can put them anywhere that you want to uh, but they are included with the Sparrow R4. Uh, other nice features about the R4 We've got stainless hardware in here. Uh, the stainless steel hardware looks nice and uh, it works really well. It's a little bit heavy so if weight is a big concern for you, you can use titanium uh, hardware on this which is really nice. So uh, completed Sparrow. This is a version R3 but just to give you an idea, they haven't changed too much. Uh, it's a really, really nice frame. Uh, this one has some upgrades, obviously. Uh, they've upgraded the Sparrow washers. This is a customer's Sparrow. Uh, but he's upgraded his Sparrow washers to give it a different look. He's added the dual battery strap uh, main plate. And he runs 6-inch props on this with uh, 1960 KV Cobra motors. 
and he's got a Lumineer video transmitter down here in the bottom, but you can see just where, uh, oh, this one has sparrow claws on it too, uh, so it's got the upgraded landing gear, which is really nice, and then he has uh, different gadgets that he likes to mount here with this 3D printed mount. So, um, you know, the, the changes between version R3 and R4, you can see maybe just just a little bit just how much we strengthen up the shoulders in the R4 which is this one here so other than that our standard frame comes with uh, the gunmetal gray uh, sparrow washers and you can get any color you want from quadquestions.com we also have different kits for this we have uh, two, 250 millimeter arms so the stock kit comes with 270 millimeter arms so you can run a six inch propeller but if you have a racing restriction you can put a 250 millimeter arm on here and then you can run your 250 millimeter race uh, we also have this hex kit which will allow you to transform this frame into a hex copter and here's the hex So anyway, that's a quick introduction to the Sparrow Racing Quad, revision number four, available at quadquestions.com. And we love this frame. We're pilots. We've been doing this for a while. We're trying to make something that's purely different and unique, and I think we've achieved it with the Sparrow line of quadcopters. And I hope that you take into serious consideration for your next build to use a Sparrow R4 frame.